most valuable commodity I know of is information. Wouldn't you agree? So we're out here. We got the old electric 40 pound thrust in Dakota. Beginning of this project, we're going to try attempt to run a trolling motor on a generator. I don't know if many people have done that. I'll uh, show you how I'm going to do it. We're driving to the spot. We got. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to start spinning. We're going to start spinning around and around. Yeah, this is kind of nice actually. For views, we just let it spin. All right. So this is where we're going to do it right here. I'll shut that off a minute. So we've got this little box here. In this box, this. Okay. 12 to 48 volt AC to DC controller. I uh, got it from China. These run around $60 normally. I got this one for, um, for I believe, 28 shipped from banggood.com. So he says 480, 0, 048. The 480 stands for the maximum wattage. The 0 to 48 is the voltage. 10 amps. Um, obviously, that's at 48 volts. But it draws 7 amps at 120 volts, so it's sounding like a little more than it uses a little more than what it can put out. But we're going to find out if it can run this trolling motor at all and how fast. You saw a pretty good example. I'll give you a good example of a launch speed here. We're dead still in the water. So just to give you an idea, that's full thrust. And this is how fast we're going. So we're going pretty good. Maybe we'll do the turn test here. See how fast we turn this whole bit. Right, we, we turn pretty fast. That's how fast it turns. So, yeah, we'll, we'll turn on a dime here. All right. So, we're running on pure battery power. We don't want to waste our whole battery because that might be all I get today if I can't get the if I can't get the uh, generator to run us. I usually have a, some kind of rebuilt old-fashioned bolt motor, but how did I do this project today? I gotta rebuild all those motors again, so. They all need impellers, Derek. Derek, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm along my good ride. friend. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and wire this up and I'll be back with you. All right, so we're back. We got it all wired up. We get the generator hooked up to this power cord. Power cord's going in under there. Super professionally like. <laughs> and then we've got our output. Goes to these jumper leads. I got one in the box to keep it from grounding. And uh, I got the other one hooked up there to this trolling motor wire. We're about to find out here. Derek, you want to do the honors and video the fire? Alright, here we go. <laughs> There may be or may not be a fire. Let's find out what happened. Ooh, so. All right, back again one more time to talk about the inconclusion. So now we got the battery wired up. Um, the test was successful, as you could see. Uh, some 
post thoughts on this. Uh, I guess connecting it now. We might still need it because uh, this battery, I don't know how much charge is in it. I got this jump pack and we've used about a tenth of that and we're quite far from the bolt launch, but I think we'll be fine. We, we may have to rewire this up and run off of it, but my uh, next tests are going to be in my water tank at home rather than out here because I'm enjoying my time out here. Um, I'm going to actually, why that was probably underpowered, I thought about it, was I'm going to bridge this to mono essentially. I'm going to run all three of those contacts into one and uh, we'll see what happens there. See what happens with the voltage. Now I have other options. I actually have two of these boxes they sent me. Like, remember when they sent you those earbuds and they sent you four of them on accident? Well, they sent me two of these on accident from two different places in China. I only paid for one. So, essentially, I I paid $28 and I got two of these. So, I paid 14 bucks for this. But, I may wire both of them together if I still don't have sufficient power with just the one bridge to mono. So, that's something fun that I can do with it. And uh, oh, that's pretty crazy. Those weeds come right up to the top, way out here, in the, pretty far away from the shore. Oh, look at that! Those weeds must be pretty shallow right out here. Look at that! The weeds right up to the top. That's pretty. It's like weird. fishing line. I had to clean the prop though. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Well, um, so yeah, getting back, I'm gonna bridge this one to mono. We'll try that. That doesn't sufficiently power the motor um, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna um, bridge two two of them to mono bridge those together and keep the fire extinguisher close by and we're gonna and hopefully I don't fry out my 40 pound thrust trolling motor maybe I'll I don't know it'll be fun it'll be a fun test uh, if you like this kind of stuff you want to see that test running the boat motor successfully off the generator I mean we were successful but I want it to be of the same power that a 12 volt battery has I also have the additional option that I didn't try tonight I was going to but then I just got busy there's a 12 volt output um, this is a four stroke 1500 continuous and uh, there's gonna be later videos uh, like the I was telling Derek about my crazy contraption I want to build with the Agni motor if you've watched my other videos, you know about that Agni motor. I was going to put it in my Wave Runner. Uh, changed my mind about that. Uh, I just recently acquired a 12 inch tri blade prop that's solid brass. It's off of a ship. So I'd like to uh, take that and uh, use that Agni motor, a broken out drive for, or a broken old boat motor, and see what I can make. And if I have 48 volts available to me and I can get that worked out, I can run the Agni motor with its controller that I have. That would be one hell of a contraption, man. And if it works, it will be so perfect. Because it will be 1,500 watts is 2 horsepower electric. 2 horsepower electric is equivalent to 5 or even 8 horsepower gas. It will be perfect for this little boat. And I'll just keep this little generator and I'll have that big contraption back here. And then I'll, of course, have this um, boat motor as, or this uh, trolling motor as my backup. So that'll be a fun, that's later. That'll probably be over the winter project. But look forward to it because I'm going to do that tomorrow morning where I, uh, where I wire up, the, bridge this to mono and do some other testing and try the 12 volt output on here and see what I'm going to test it all in my water tank in my driveway. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, appreciate it. Have a great night. All right, little addendum, guys. It's starting to sun setting. Just thought of an idea. So I got this flashlight I was talking about earlier in the video. Me and Derek were out here. I decided to point at the water. And I don't know if you can see it, but you can actually see that penetrating deep underwater. I bet. I think I could see about three feet under this boat with this quarter of a watt flashlight. So my idea is, is what I'm going to do is... Get a light bar that you would see on the back of a truck and since I have all this voltage available to me and power my idea is to waterproof that light bar so it can be submerged mount it on the back of my boat underwater and uh, see what happens when you light it up at night or during, even during the day see if you can light up the fish or the bottom of the lake that'd be kind of a cool test on cost me shit I bet I can get one of those old light bars for 
next to a song on a trade but anyway that's just an idea you know I'm always coming up with ideas that would be a fun one to try light up the wildlife and see what's down there be kind of interesting what you got fish jumping Let's oh see yeah if we can see the fish. there's a lot of fish oh with the light you mean you ain't gonna see the fish it's only got that little square but it's pretty crazy if it was darker I bet you could yeah, cause I, the darker it gets, the deeper I can see. That's crazy. You can see it kind of looks like three-dimensional, the chip thing. See that? See how you can see, like, the chip thing? Look, see the little ridges? That's cool as shit. All right, well, we better steer towards the boat launch. All right, well, anyway, I think that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Got my friend Derek here at the boat launch. He's got a brilliant idea. I got a 12 volt bilge pump, but I don't know how to hook that up when you get one of those. I'm gonna put one of those in my boat immediately. I got the uh, 12 volt bilge I normally use. But yeah, I was just telling, I was just telling you, Derek. So I used to bring my big ass set of oars. It was kind of a bitch because I put them in these little mounts here, and then you have to turn the seat around to fucking oar. It was a pain in the ass, man. Because uh. When you're trying to oar and you're backwards, it's just, and there's not enough room between you and here. You hit the motor, you hit on the seat, you hit your knees mostly. It's just, it's not conducive. So what I figured out, is I took this little oar, put it in here, and I could actually oar this thing like a canoe. Easy as pie. And you flip, flip, the, and, and it doesn't run into anything. And it's like it was meant to be paddled that way. So it's nice because it doesn't turn really easy. You know how like when you're paddling your canoe, that kind of wants to turn on you when you go from side to side? Well, this thing's so heavy that it doesn't turn side to side when you're oars. So you can get two oars in, three oars in, and then go over, switch to the other side and your direction doesn't. So you're not wasting all that energy counteracting your direction all the time. Does that light work? No, but I attach that light up on the post. And I got, and I got the old, have you seen this yet? These are my hottest new product that I've been selling, but yeah, it's got the, uh, it's got this, so it's got, you know what I mean? But then it's focusable, so it's got like a laser, dude. That's like a light laser. Like if it was dark right now, I could light those trees up. I swear to God, see the top of those trees way across the lake? Yeah. I could light those up with that little bead. But then it's got the uh, cop panel on the side <laughs> that's super bright, and it does SOS. And it does, uh, and it does flash. Internal battery to charge? Yeah, yeah, and an internal battery to charge. It's the best feature. And the nice clip for clipping your belt. That's selling these for $10. If you want one, to get old. <laughs> this is selling them like crazy. I owe you money, so I could probably <laughs> just buy you one if you want one. But 